hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel here is a good example of how to use up your oil filled pipe that may have a plastic liner look how good this pipe is it's been sitting over here at the farm for who knows how many years but we uh, get hesitant to use it because it's a pain in the butt to work with when you got to saddle stuff but in this case we're using six inch posts so we can use the circle burner method burn holes in the pipe and then we just cut these with our evolution chop saw that way you ain't got to fight with trying to cut this with a torch all right we've got our string line up we stood back and looked at it eyeballed it every which way by the way this is what we're working on today <laughs> We've got two braces we're gonna put here and two braces gonna put there and then i'm gonna leave the end of that bar bar there but i'm gonna take out all these posts and tie it back to here the whole reason we're putting these m2 posts are new i set them a couple days ago so we can hang a 20 foot gate off right here they've been using panels and uh not very practical so put in a brace running this way that way the 20 foot gate would have something to hang off of. So what I just did was I put my string line back up. I've got all my tops cut off and uh, put my string line back up. That way I can measure from the string line to the center of my pipe. The thing I did different here than I've done in the past with new pipe is whenever I'm doing like new fence and I set all the posts, what I've done in the past is just put a string line up once, measured over half. In this case, it's six and five eighths. So half of that is three and five sixteenths. And uh, in the past, I would just throw my level up there and mark it down on bottom. Well, the trouble with that is if you got any posts that are, you know, happen to settle a little bit whenever you set them, in theory, they shouldn't do that. But if they do, all of a sudden you've got your, your bottom mark maybe off center a little bit. And with this two and seven eighths, it's not a big deal, but like with that six inch, or I mean that four and a half inch pipe that we put between six inch uh, on that one job, uh, we'll put links in the description of those videos if you haven't seen those videos if you're new around here but anyway that four and a half inch pipe it's a little bigger deal to make sure it's centered because if not you're trying to cut a circle over here closer to the edge so all that to say is what i'm going to do different here is i'm going to go ahead and move that string line down to the bottom and then measure over on the bottom on each individual deal that way in case like for instance this post it's been set here i don't know if it's level or not it's been here for who knows how many years so if it's leaning or anything it's not as accurate to use my level so i'm just going to move the string down on everything and then uh measure over on the bottom hole also as far as my spacing goes i pulled 10 inches from the top to the center and then 34 to the center of my next rail 34 from the top which puts that way I can just leave my tape up there and mark 10 inches, then mark 34 inches. But that puts me at two foot center to center, 24 inches center to center on my spacing on my H brace. All right, now that I've got everything marked, I'm gonna go through here and punch where I've, where I've got all my marks since we're gonna be using the circle burner. And I've got this spring-loaded punch that I'm going to be using. Uh, super handy, especially if you've got a lot of fence to do. I'm 
and got my first hole cut down here the old test hole i like to say testing the uh circle burner make sure it's set to the right diameter this is the circle burner adjust that center punch to the radius of the circle you need and in this case it's roughly just under an inch and a half because this is two and seven eighths which, which is just under three inches so half three inches is an inch and a half so we've got one hole cut we've got one more on this post two three four five six seven seven more holes so that's some good old used pretty sure it was like pipeline pipe good heavy wall probably old five sixteenth thick but it's got this collar on it that's the worst part about it but it's still even though it's pitted a little bit still got a lot of life left in there so uh, but what I was going to say was to help it cut better I uh because we're taking a chance cutting these circles in this uh used pipe we're taking a chance of it not going so well because some used pipe has got rust on the inside and it won't cut very good but uh I just preheat it a lot like I'm doing here. That preheat will help anything cut better. All right, let's take off. That's a sign that it's used pipe also whenever the circle doesn't fall out, which let's be honest, even on new pipe, I can't always get the circle to fall out, but uh, it's more likely to on new pipe. Uh, but anyway, you can also, if you're, if you find that your diameter is a little bit too short, like your pipe doesn't fit in it, you can take, whenever you're cutting, you can take and angle your, like versus straight in, you try to keep the same distance uh, like you try to keep your torch perpendicular to the pipe the whole time you're cutting well you can uh, you can angle it out a little bit to make your circle a little bit bigger versus trying to adjust this just a wee bit but hopefully that'll work if anything I'll cut the hole directly across from it uh, make sure it's sure enough big enough that way I can stick the pipe in that pipe and then stick it in this hole last and then uh, it'll work just fine Got my old fire rig with me. Or water rig, I mean. Fire rig. The grass was real wet this morning from the dew last night. So we haven't needed it yet, but got it just in case because we have not had any rain hardly within seems like at least a month, maybe maybe not quite that long, but it's been a while.
150 range on my SA 300, 150 range on my left knob, and then I'm on 40 on my right knob, my fine, my fine current. Got a little gap. I'm doing some whipping action, kind of scaring the rod with each side, and then it starts to join. So you know, I'm putting a little metal on the post and on the rail. Sitting there welding and smelling horse poo or cow poo. For me, I'm a cow poo kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Cow poo just smells a little better than horse poo. first pass all in now I'm just fixing to take my wire brush 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 and then turn it up 15 or 20 points on my fine current and then uh, that put us at 55 or 60 and then put a cat pass on these eight yeah yeah eight welds
Now that right there's a done deal for today anyway. Still gotta get a gate and hang it. And I'd like to put some caps on these even though there's plenty more of this around here that don't have caps on them, but they all need to be capped. So I'd like to put some caps on there and then I need to move this fence over like I was saying. So we're now looking the other direction. This here going that way is where the gate's gonna hang right behind you. And then this barbed wire fence is gonna move right there. Just like you see here. Boy, that was fast. You gotta love that internet, that editing life. Anyway, just like you see here, fence is moved over, brace is all done, wire stretched. This here is the 20 foot gate that we've got hung. Man, it just feels good. I love a finished product. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more helpful resources, you can go to our website, arosswelding.com, or if you want to get notified whenever the pipe fence course is open for enrollment again, or whenever any other online digital course that we complete is available for sale, and you want to get notified, you can get on our email list by also going to arosswelding.com. Hope you have an awesome weekend, or an awesome day, or an awesome evening, whenever you're watching this. Thanks again for being here. And remember, learn something every day. <laughs> I was driving out of here, look what I found. <laughs> look at what I found. Say hi. Say hi to the viewers. What are y'all doing out here? Say hi to the viewers. Don't be rude. Silly donkeys.